a member of Congress who listened in on a phone call from the President of the United States to a young wife, and in his way tried to express that opinion. That he's a brave man, a fallen hero. He knew what he was getting himself into because he enlisted. There's no reason to enlist. He enlisted. And he was where he wanted to be, exactly where he wanted to be with exactly the people he wanted to be with when his life was taken. That was the message. That was the message that was transmitted. It stuns me that a member of Congress would have listened in on that conversation. Absolutely stuns me. And I thought at least that was sacred. You know, when I was a kid growing up, a lot of things were sacred in our country. Women were sacred and looked upon with great honor. That's obviously not the case anymore, as we see from recent cases. Life, the dignity of life, was sacred. That's gone. Religion, that seems to be gone as well. Gold Star families, I think that left in the convention over the summer. But I just thought the selfless devotion that brings a man or a woman to die on the battlefield, I just thought that that might be sacred. And when I listened to this woman and what she was saying and what she was doing on TV, the only thing I could do to collect my thoughts was to go and walk among the finest men and women on this earth. And you can always find them because they're in Arlington National Cemetery. I went over there for an hour and a half, walked among the stones, some of whom I put there because they were doing what I told them to do when they were killed. Um, I'll end with this. Uh, in, in, in October, uh, April, rather, of 2015, I was still on active duty, and I went to the dedication of the new FBI field office in Miami. And it was dedicated to two men who were killed in a firefight in Miami with, against drug traffickers in 1986. A guy by the name of Grogan and uh, Duke. Uh, Grogan almost retired, 53 years old. Duke, I think, less than a year on the job. Anyways, they got in a gunfight, and they were killed. Three other uh, FBI agents were there, were wounded, now retired. So we go down. Jim Comey get an absolutely brilliant memorial speech to those fallen men and, the f and, the, and to all of the men and women of the FBI who serve our country so well and law enforcement so well. Uh, there were family members there. Some of the children that were there were only three or four years old when their dads were killed on that street in uh, Miami-Dade. Um, three of the men that survived the fight were there and gave a rendition of how brave those men were and how they gave their lives. And a congresswoman uh, stood up and in the long tradition of empty barrels making the most noise, stood up there and all of that and talked about how she was instrumental in getting the funding for that building and how she took care of her constituents because she got the money and she just called up President Obama and on that phone call he gave the money, the $20 million to build a building. And she sat down and we were stunned, stunned that she'd done it. Even for someone that is that empty a barrel, 